Greetings, everyone. We welcome you to this special initiative of Getting the Word Out. I'm certain by now you'd have heard of the Christ for the Crisis Crusade. And there's so many pieces of information we want to share with you. This afternoon, in the dialogue with myself, we have four distinguished gentlemen who form part of the Gospel Series Management Team and will be dialoguing, sharing, and conversing. And they will be answering some questions so that we all can be up to speed informed in terms of how we can be a part of this extravaganza um, we have good news to share there is hope that we want to share with the dying world and we want you to be a partner with us before we proceed um, i think it's fitting that we have an introduction brief introduction so you can be familiar with the panelists we have with us this afternoon so starting from my left thank you pastor gordon uh, my name is karen noel i'm part of the Seventh-day Adventist Church at Snell Hall, and I'm part of the technical team for the Evangelistic Series. I am Pastor Bernard Lyons, the Youth Director of the Grenada Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, and I am managing the WhatsApp group for our evangelistic campaign. My name is Anderson Felix, presently serving as the first elder of the Crochu Seventh-day Adventist Church. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Elvis Hiller, and of course, I serve as the Sabbath School Personnel Ministries and Community Services Director of the conference and also the Chairman of the Evangelism Council of the Grenada Conference that has planned and organized this online evangelistic series. All right, and there we had it. So you are a bit more familiar in terms of who will be speaking to you this afternoon. So without any further ado, we want to go straight into our questions this afternoon. Now, gentlemen, Indeed, we are living in some very uncertain times. And um, as is obvious, there are many needs out there. Persons are in want, persons are struggling. And the question would arise, why a crusade at such a time? Couldn't the church be occupied with doing something different? Why a campaign? Well, I want to start, Pastor Gordon, by saying that, um, of course, the church is, uh, is engaged in all that you have mentioned. Um, distributing food, ministering to persons' needs, you know. But you know, we, the church's mission is to preach the gospel and to introduce men and women to the love of Jesus Christ. And certainly, while we do many other things, we have a mandate to also preach the gospel, coming from Matthew chapter 28, um, 18 to 20, to preach the gospel and that's what the church is doing in a direct way and so when we have considered this of course among the other things that the church is doing to minister to persons we believe that the preaching of the gospel is also a part and a responsibility we have to reach men and women in these crisis times i can also add that as we recognize the times in which we live and of course, we mentioned that it is a pandemic in which we are presently. It tells us more than ever there is need for hope. And the title alone of the evangelistic series, Christ for the Crisis, tells us what our focus should really be at this time. So many times, family members, friends, loved ones, they fail us. But when we look to Jesus, and history has recorded the remarkable stories of Jesus Christ. And of course, they are not just stories or fairy tales. They are events that we can attest to. And even today, we can see the wonderful, powerful working of Jesus Christ in our lives. And so Christ, as we lift up and magnify the name of Jesus... In these times, we are saying, we are bringing hope to you. We are bringing comfort to you because our surroundings are suggesting it is time for us to break down. But we are saying, no, it is time for us to build a solid relationship with Jesus to get closer to him so that we can find a friend that sticks it closer even than a brother. Thank you. I want to add to what I've been said. You know, when Jesus was on planet Earth, he was doing the same thing. Meeting the needs of people, but also preaching the gospel. 
And while, of course, the church should meet the needs of people, the church should also be, be a part of preaching this gospel. In fact, after you would have feed people physically, there is still a soul to be saved. And so why are we at this present time preaching this gospel? It is because we want people to be saved, saved eternally for the kingdom of God. All right, well said. So indeed it was made um, very clear that evangelism at such a time definitely has its place. Now our second question. Now, as we would have looked at the, the launch of this series, for those of us who had the opportunity to be in the background, seeing what's happening behind the scenes, indeed, it takes a lot of effort. And you might be wondering, um, those of our friends online, what can I do in terms of being a partner, in terms of sharing responsibility in getting the gospel out? Um, what could we say to persons that are looking online? What can they do? How can they partner? How can they share in that re responsibility? Um, I would say firstly, um, the series is being broadcasted on the major social media platforms. So firstly, as members, once we're viewing, we can share, like the page, make others aware of what's going on. Also, we can always direct um, persons who are inter interested in the series to the conference website and have them register or subscribe so that they can get regular updates. So if you're inter interested, you can visit um, Grenada Conference, grenadaadventist.org slash gospel and you would see there is a banner there where you can click to subscribe. And we encourage you to send a link to persons, have them subscribe so that they can get up to the minute um, updates as it pertains to the, to, the, to the campaign. So that's one way you can, you, you can, you can help. Right, I, I also want to add that I'm, I'm speaking to everyone now, our members and also our friends who are viewing. Um, of course, for our members, um, you have a responsibility to, you know, seek out your friends and your families and uh, uh, so that they can hear of the good news and um, respond positively, all right? So we're asking all our members, all our elders, and I think this morning at the launch, the different departments would have articulated that, that we need everybody on board. Um, register people, you know, get them involved, share the link with them. Also, what you can do, you can participate by praying, yeah? I'm um, praying for the online evangelistic series, yeah? Um, also, you can, you, can, you can be part by sh just sharing the link. Even if you have not registered a person or uh, maybe your friend has not yet registered, but by just sharing the link like wildfire across Grenada, across Cariku, across Pidimatnik, across the Caribbean, across the world, you are being part of this evangelistic series. And so, um, if there is a way that you think you can contribute additionally, you can get in touch with any one of us and we'll be happy to, to welcome your assistance in any way as we continue to minister to these platforms. In addition, we also understand that friendship evangelism is essential as we seek to bring persons to a recognition of Jesus Christ. And so if we seek to invite our friends, our family members, our co-workers, persons in our focus group, our place of influence, then we would be able to reach persons that other individuals may not be able to reach, especially when it comes to the youthful arm of our society. And young people, they themselves are powerful. They understand each other. They speak in a specific jargon. They can appreciate, they can link together in a unique way. And so when young people and persons within their age group can associate with persons that they have influence over, and they invite them, they ask them to like and share the page, they give them reminders and updates of the crusade and the activities that are taking place in reference to the crusade, then it means that we would have more subscribers, we would have more viewers, and we would also be able to reach places and individuals that our physical effort would not be able to accomplish. All right, very well, wonderful. 
Um, somebody might be wondering as you are viewing, is there a number I can call to volunteer my services? Probably you might be an expert in a field. There might be a special service you want to offer. But you want to call somebody, you want to make contact. Um, can we have a number for the office or one of the campaign managers? Um, how can they get in contact with the, the management team? All right, so we have two numbers. We have a landline, 438-2273, and the mobile, 456-2273. And those last four numbers, when you look at it carefully, it really spells care. So it is 438-CARE or 456-CARE. And that is because we care about you and we know that you care about your loved ones and your friends and you want to see them saved when Jesus comes. And of course, we cannot overemphasize the point that we are living in a terrible time. And the signs around us are telling us that things will not get better, but it appears as though it is going to get worse. Sicknesses, diseases, aches and pains, financial crisis, family problems, health problems on the rise. So we are saying, let persons call the hotline so that they can find someone that they can pray with, they can get information, relevant information that is necessary to help them through this period of crisis. Um, in addition to that, the, um, the official email address for the campaign is wecare at grenadaadventist.org. Wecare at grenadaadventist.org. So you can always shoot us an email. We have persons that will check regularly and ensure that you, you are responded to in a timely manner. And we would give you um, updates and information that, that you're requesting. So just remember, you can email us at we care at grenadaadventist.org. And Pastor Gordon, can I just add and speak about the WhatsApp group? With the subscription and with the email, we also have a link. And that link would give you the opportunity to allow your friends and family members, those same persons in your circle of influence, to be able to add it to the WhatsApp group. And what that does is that it gives you added information. So for example, we would seek to refresh you of what took place the night before, and we would also give you a sneak peek into what is going to come the following night. And so you cannot afford to let your friends be outside of the WhatsApp group and other relevant and pertinent information would be shared on the WhatsApp group. And we are seeking to build a friendship, a family on the WhatsApp group. And so that is a place to be. So make sure you share the link and you get your friends and all those in that circle signed up and well informed about the Christ for the Crisis evangelistic campaign. Um, and Pastor Gordon, just to, to um, add to what Pastor Lyon said, I know that I have some friends and um, persons have been, have been asking, well, if it's just a simple WhatsApp group, why do I need a link to sign up? As Pastor said, we don't, we don't just want to have a number. We want to get information about you. This is the beginning of something great. We want to have a friendship with you. So if you're interested in joining the WhatsApp group, you just any one of our members or the number, you can send a message to the number. We would send you the link. We collect some basic information about you. The information will help us to serve you better and provide content that is necessary and, and relevant for you. So don't be afraid to, um, to, to, to subscribe to full the form and we'll add you to the WhatsApp group to keep you updated. All right, I, th I think we're going great so far. Probably someone is hearing about Christ for the crisis for the first time. You might be wondering, what, what is that all about? Who is the speaker? Um, what time can I log in? What social media platforms can I log in on? What's the name? How do I subscribe? I want to get the notifications nightly. We want to share some information. So, Pastor Hille, can you tell us a bit about the evangelists? All right. Um, well, let me start. It's Christ for the Crisis Gospel Explosion. And, of course, it's an online evangelistic series um, that has been planned and sponsored by the Grenada Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. It's right? sponsored by the Grenada Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. And, of course... There, are team, there is a team of uh, persons that we refer to as the Evangelism Council, and met and organized. And so different teams have been put in place to organize and to manage this aspect of the online series. Certainly, 
It's a new thing for the Grenada Conference, and of course, for our members and our viewers, we have been um, under lockdown for quite a while. So we thought of how can we reach persons um, with the gospel, persons need hope, persons need encouragement, persons need um, a word, persons need to have some direction from the Lord. So we organize this campaign. And of course, after prayerful and careful selection, um, the Spirit of God led us to a dynamic, young, poetic, energetic uh, preacher by the name of Pastor Oliver Scott. And of course, Pastor Scott um, is certainly uh, an ace preacher. He is a man of God and he's able to divide the word, able to divide the word. Um, he's, he serves now as our executive secretary of the Grenada Conference. And we are very happy that he can take the time off from that, 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 that all engaging portfolio to, to speak, you know, night after night. Now the series will start, um, well it has started as a matter of fact, started today. So if in case you've, you, for some reason you've missed today, hello, don't miss tomorrow night. Don't miss tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we begin um, at 7.20 p.m. sharp. 7.20 p.m. sharp. Right? And of course, once you have signed on, as the persons who are manning the WhatsApp and the technical group have indicated, once you have signed up, a link will be sent to you. Information will be sent to you so that you can join us at 7.20. And from 7.20 right on, I'm telling you, it's going to be short, it's going to be power packed, Pastor Gordon, it's going to be great. Right? Every moment, every, I mean, I'm telling you, 5 to 10 to 15 to, you know, minutes, something exciting is going to happen. So from the time you log on, you, 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 you cannot leave. All right? And when you log on, we're going to carry you through every night by the grace of God what is going to be a power pack package. All right? So the evangelist has started today. All the, the stops have been checked and everybody is ready to go. Pastor, I want to tell you a little bit about things like the, the praise team. Um, um, you've heard them, Pastor, and the praise team, they're going to be great gospel singing, the special music. There'll be special features that, that will minister to your various needs. Um, of course, um, there will be there will be a prayer hotline, and prayer will undergird certainly what we do. So, as we have said uh, already, the numbers have been given. Um, you know, just join in. You just need prayer. You not just need uh, someone to lift you up to the Lord. Just join in, and you will never be disappointed. It's something that has been planned for you in mind. Something that has been planned for your family, for your community, for Grenada, for Cariku, for the Caribbean pastor. And we are on the World Wide Web, so certainly it has been planned for the world. So we encourage you to join us and be part of this great initiative. Let me just add to the issue of the preacher. You know, in every age in life, or every stage in life, God always have a man. Um, in a crisis, God normally chooses a special man. Because, you see, it's this, this is war and this is battle. And because of the nature of this battle and the time in which this battle is taking place, God had selected him way ahead of time, the person that will minister the word. I want to add with what the pastor said that you, you, you just can't afford to miss it. It will be a wonderful experience. It will be a life-changing experience for everyone that view this program. All right. I showed just by the information shared, you're excited yourself. And um, I can already see you sharing links with your friends, inviting, telling everybody about what's happening there. You know, friends, still, although recent happenings have demonstrated clearly to us that we need to grasp technology and run with it, there are some persons that are still seeing social media, these platforms, as Satan's tool and his grounds. How can social media really be used or capitalized in terms of championing the gospel through the length and breadth of the world? Let me, um, let me start on this. You know, when, when I just got familiar with social media, um, Facebook in a special way, I was told that it is one of the things that people or groups like 
the CIA and FBI and those people will use to track us down. So they will have all our information. But I'm not so worried about that because you see, while these people may have my information, God also have my information. Um, but I've seen social media or use social media uh, to reach a large number of people. Um, let me give a little experience with the preaching of the gospel in a place like Haiti, which was my, um, I want to believe, largest number uh, since I've been preaching this gospel, 800 plus, 900 plus persons every night. Social media expands on that. We have just finished um, a two weeks crusade and we had over 270 something thousand plus people listening to the gospel of Jesus Christ. They have people signed up to uh, doing Bible study. So if social media is the devil's tool, I want to say that God is using it really good. We also understand that in almost every home, there is a device that is connected to the internet. And we often say it is the World Wide Web. And we are a global village. And the internet system, the platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, and the other social media platforms that allows us to connect with persons gives us an added opportunity as was mentioned before, to reach places, individuals, and homes that we would not ordinarily be able to reach. And there are places with gated communities. There are places where the gospel cannot be preached by a person physically. There are places where missionaries may not be able to go. But persons with the internet and persons with devices they themselves can tap into the correct source and get to learn and understand more about Jesus Christ. And so what we are seeing is this wonderful privilege that God has placed within our hands. And as we go, we grow. And the world is changing in relation to technological advancements. And we as a people utilizing wisdom, we can also use the devices in a creative way as the Spirit leads us to reach men and women because we underscore the fact that the gospel must be preached as a witness unto every individual. And then will the end come. Yeah, Pastor, um, when I think of technology, um, it reminds me of a book I read back in school. That, um, the title of the book was The Gift of Fire. You know, when you think of technology, you think of fire. Fire is something that could be very, very destructive, as well as, it, you know, it's used to create a lot of good things. So, I mean, the, 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 the social media platform is just another medium through which we need to leverage to get the message out there. I'm pretty sure if, if, if it comes a time where there's a multitude of people on the riverbanks washing clothes. I'm pretty sure that the conference will organize an event that can get the gospel to them. So it's not about the devil's medium. It's just that finding a medium through which we can meet people, the social media platform, they're there, persons are there willingly coming to you. So we're just leveraging the technology to get the gospel out there to persons. So we encourage you to use the technology, use it wisely, use it for, for positive impact, and like and share the... the um, this evangelistic series so that others may be blessed. In addition to the social media platforms, you're also broadcasting on channel 32 on floor, 31, sorry, on floor. So please bear that in mind. If I should add a little more, Pastor Gordon, you know, God is the only one that can read the thoughts of man. God knows what we are thinking. But sometimes when you get on social media, you see the thoughts of people out there. Those who are thinking about committing suicide, those who are think about, thinking about um, doing something that will violate laws, you see those thoughts shared out there. And I think it's a wonderful uh, opportunity that God has given to us so that when we see people share thoughts, especially in this uh, trying time, uh, suicidal thoughts, we can tap in and we can get there, we can talk to them. It doesn't matter which part of the world they are from. 
we can get to talk to them and help them out of the situation. So I believe that social media is playing a wonderful role in saving lives for Jesus Christ. All right. Well said. Just to piggyback on what you mentioned, Elder Felix, uh, many persons are depressed, helpless, and through these platforms, we can see the needs and connect with persons. We have a special prayer room where persons can call or log in or be a part of where prayer would be offered, I think, every day at certain periods of time. We're just asking the panelists they could share a bit more information on the prayer room, where can they find it, what to expect, what times during the day the prayer will be offered so that persons that are listening, you know, this little discussion can tune in and be blessed. Well, the prayer room, Pastor um, Daniel Miller will be in charge of the prayer room. The good thing about this prayer room is when you log in, you will have somebody praying for you face to face. It's a Zoom prayer room. People will be praying for you face to face. Now, Pastor Gordon, there are churches, there are ministries. In order for somebody to get prayed for face to face, they have to sow a seed. You don't have to sow a seed. Uh, you just log in, you get in, and you have somebody pray for you. The prayer starts at 6, uh, 6.30 every evening, begin, beginning tomorrow, God's will, and going through the entire week except on Sabbath. It's from 6.30 to 8.30, and so you have somebody praying for you. The link to that will be shared on WhatsApp. So all Seventh-day Adventists should share that link to their friends, their families, so that um, they can get in and be prayed for. Now, in this trying time, prayer is one of the best things that we can use. Um, I've seen prayer change life. And here is an opportunity, a free opportunity, for you to just get in, have somebody pray with, pray with you, and see God do wonderful things on your behalf. Amen. So, in addition to the hotline, we also have a prayer room. Wonderful. Um, can anyone share a bit more information in terms of the, the Zoom link. Um, how can they find that link? Where will it be sent? Well, the link will be sent to um, the Adventist members. And the non-Adventists, well, may, I, may I quickly add, that the prayer room was set up mainly for non-Adventists. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say that over. The prayer room was set up mainly for non-Adventists. Um, it is one thing hearing somebody praying for you, you know, you tell somebody, I'll be praying for you. But having somebody praying for you face to face is a whole different thing. So it is set up for the non-Adventists. But of course, Seventh-day Adventists, as Seventh-day Adventists, we need prayers too. And so we can also um, get in there. So the link will be sent via WhatsApp. Um, Adventist members will share it with their family and friends. And friends who, ha um, who would have submitted their WhatsApp contact will get that link. And they too can share that link. All right, lovely. Now, we want to go to a very interesting question. I believe there are some persons who have been following the services so far, and God has been moving in your heart thus far. You want to get baptized. You are under the impression of the Holy Spirit. You are ready to make the move. Probably you might be living in a parish that is far removed from Grand Bra or Grenville where the services are streamed. And you want to say tonight, you want to ask the question, how can I get in contact for baptism? How are the arrangements being made? Is there someone in my neck of the woods I can contact to make that decision to surrender my life to Jesus once and for all? What can we say to such a person? All right, well, Pastor, that, that's a very good question. And I'm happy for those of you, of course, who have already made that decision. To God be the glory. Um, we praise God for you. What I want to say to you, of course, you've been listening. Um, a lot of information has been shared um, on this program um, so that you can contact any one of the numbers, whether it's the prayer hotline, whether it's the, 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 the hotline or the prayer room um, or the WhatsApp number. You can just send a message there um, indicating your willingness to accept Jesus Christ and be baptized. That's quite fine. And once we get that information, Pastor Gordon, we will certainly um, um, follow through on that. We will contact you. Of course, um, you give us your name, where you are located. And even if you are located in Africa or in England, 
we certainly have links and we have this thing so well organized that we will get to persons who can get to you and to ensure by the grace of God that you make and you follow through on that decision. Here in the Grenada Conference, of course, we have uh, Pastor Enoch Isaac who is coordinating that aspect for us uh, in terms of um, accepting Jesus and persons who are going to make decisions. So you just indicate to us and we have all our pastors and Bible workers ready to, to, to work with you and to ensure by the grace of God that you make that full and committed surrender to Jesus Christ. All right, wonderful. Final question before we wrap it up. I think we would have touched most of the areas and the, the subject matters. Finally, probably there are persons out there, you are not living in Grenada at the moment. You really want to contribute to the crusade. Probably God has blessed you with some sort of resources and you want to make a contribution. Probably you are living in Grenada as well. Um, how can persons contribute to the cause? How can they give? Well, let me, let me say, Pastor, with everything, it, it takes money. Right? And just being online. Um, of course, um, it's a very expensive venture. What we are doing, um, we have secured a, a lot of new equipment to ensure that we bring this sort of quality. Um, a lot of things are going on behind the scene. And certainly, it takes money. And so, we are very thankful for those who have contributed um, over the past times. We have been online um, for some months now. And it has cost us quite a bit. And persons, uh, Sabbath after Sabbath, as we make the appeal, persons have laid aside something for this online ministry. All right? Um, some have dropped it in. Others, we are yet to collect. But there are a few ways that we are, we are going to share with you right now. For those of you who are closest to us, um, our members, our friends in Grenada, you can just call one of the numbers we give you. You can indicate. Or you can call the conference office as 442-7450 and indicate your willingness to contribute. And we will share information or we will tell you how you can make that contribution. If you are, you are in a parish or in a church, you can call the district pastor. You can contact the district pastor or a member or an elder of that local church and seek information and they will supply you with that information. All right? For those of you who are far away, um, the good news is that, Pastor, we have tried and we are trying. We very soon, um, hopefully as early as this week, we're going to have some sort of online giving set up. We are working on it and we pray by the grace of God that that is going to materialize so that those who are far away and who have been blessed and who the Lord has laid it on your heart with the resources that you have to give, we are appealing to you. But if chance um this is not forthcoming right away but the lord is impressing you take up the phone and call 442-7450 or i want to give my personal cell number pastor right wherever you are viewing from let me give my personal cell number it's 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 it's, it's personal but for this cause i will give it to you the code is 1473 405 8209. Can I do that again? Let me do that again. 1473 405 8209. Just uh, call this number, put it on your WhatsApp contact, WhatsApp me a message, indicate, and I will get right back to you and I will direct you. We will go all out to ensure. That whatever that contribution is, whatever that contribution is, we will receive it in the name of Jesus. And everything will go towards this media evangelism. And I want to say, Pastor, I know our viewers and our listeners, our members, by the grace of God, will give. And we thank you in advance for giving and sharing for this great ministry of the work of God. All right, that's about it, friends. We thank you very much for listening through. We pray that you would act on all the different pieces of information you would have received. We look forward for your partnership, your sharing, your inviting, your cooperation, and your prayers. And by the grace of God, even through this crisis, may Jesus Christ be lifted up and may he draw all men, women, boys, and girls to the foot of the cross. May God bless you.